Hi everyone, welcome to the getting started tutorial of MicroPython using MicroPyCraft IDE on ESP32 board. We'll be covering all the basics of the getting started tutorial including blinking of LED and creating a web server. So basically, in this tutorial, we'll first learn about the ESP32 board from MakePython. Okay, and then we'll install Python on Windows or in Mac. Then we'll learn how to use MicroPyCraft IDE. Similarly, we'll also learn how to upload code to the ESP32 board using MicroPyCraft IDE. And then we'll go through the first example. In the first example, we'll see the blinking of LED using Python code. In the second example, we'll just create a web server and you will control the LED that is, we'll turn on and off LED using the command from the web server. So, without getting delayed, let's begin with this tutorial. In order to learn MicroPython, we need ESP32 board. So, I purchased MakePython ESP32 board from Maker Fabs. You can purchase this board just at the $13. Now the reason why I purchased this board is this board has a special support for MicroPython. So you can see this is the top view of the board. So this board is having the same ESP32 chip as present in Gentec ESP32 boards. So you can see it also has a 0.96 inch I2C OLED display. As seen on the Gentec ESP32 board, it has reset pin and also has a boot pin. Okay, and then you can see there is a micro USB port for uploading code. It has the same antenna for wireless communication. And on the back side, you can see the detailed information of GPIO input and output pins is given, including the ADC pin, analog pin, digital pin, and UART, I2C, and SPI pins. And then you can see a logo of Make Python ESP32 is given here. And then it has a same CP2102 chip. So for this you need CP2102 driver so install on your computer. It has a 3.3 volt voltage regulator IC that is LM317. In order to learn more about this board, you can go through this link here. So the description of this board is already given as you see in the ES32 board. Similarly, it has all the capability like it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and hardware details. These are the GPIO pins that is input output pins similar like ESP32 board. Okay, all the function of the pins are explained here including the number, name, type and the advantages and the voting mode is also explained. And below you can see there are some links for learning more about this board. I have given the link in the description from where you can purchase this board. Now let us see the size comparison between the Gendek ESP32 board and Make Python ESP32 board. So the Gendek ESP32 board is little smaller in size as it doesn't have an OLED display. But the new board I will be using in this project has a OLED display. Since MicroPython works on Python, so we need to first install the Python IDE. So download the latest version of Python from this link. I have attached the link in the description. And after downloading, just go through all the steps of installation and just install it on your computer. That is, if you are using Windows, install it in your Windows. If you are using Mac, install it there. So after installation, just click on close. Now you need to download MicroPyCraft IDE. So just go through this link and download the zip file. After downloading the zip file, just extract this file and then open it. The exe file will open automatically. So on the left side, you can see there are few files and folders like device, sd, micropylib and workspace. All this has a special meaning. Device contains the information of all the devices. sd contains the files and folders. Micropylib contains the default libraries which are available. And workspace is a place where all the data are stored including files like boot files and main pie. Okay, so here you can see the windows editor window where we will be editing the file and at the bottom you can see the console windows where all the detailed information 
regarding compiling error everything is explained on the right side you can see there is a few option like like creating a new file saving a file and then uploading the file directly to your esp32 board stopping the file connecting the board similarly undo redo syntax check and then a clear one okay now after getting all this the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the bin file the bin file will be uploaded to the esp32 board without this bin file you the esp32 doesn't support python so for this just go to the link and then from here you need to download the bin file so just download the stable version as shown here in my case i am just downloading v1.12 dot bin file so once it is downloaded you can copy it anywhere i have exported this file on my desktop now connect the esp32 board with micro usb data cable to the computer okay and then open micro pycraft id go to the tools and then select the board in my case i am using esp32 so i will be selecting esp32 now click on burn firmware on the board select the board burn this address select as this address erase flash s com port com15 and then in the users select the build files that we recently downloaded so it's downloaded now click on ok so we are installing this file on esp32 board so that it will have a support for micro python the board that i am using is already having that support you don't need if you are using the same board but if you are using Gendek esp32 board in that case you need this work okay now click on new and then save this file as the name main.py okay give this name as main.py or you can use any other name and then click on ok i will be controlling an led that is blinking of led so i have connected the led to the gpio 5 pin that is you can see io5 is written so here is a command okay so using this command you can simply upload the code in order to upload the code you can click the upload button on the right side so you can see the led is blinking after the interval of one second the code is very simple to understand so you can see in the python console windows at the bottom you can see all the happening is there okay so now this is the another code in this code what we are doing is we are creating a web server so you can see there is an SSID and password so connect it to your home network you need to change we are using the GPIO 5 pins and we are defining the pins as output pins this is an HTML code that will be displayed as a web server using on and off function will be turning on and off LED by sending the commands so the code is not so tough it's simple you can go through the it to understand if you have a little knowledge of Python just click on download so you can see the download is going on that is the code is being uploaded to esp32 board so you can see there is an ip address 192.168.43.170 in your case the address might appear something else copy it open your web browser and just go through it so here you can see when you click on the led will turn on and when you click off the LED will turn off. So that's all about the today's tutorial. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.